but I don't go to the doctor much. Like I don't. Not as much as you're supposed to. Eh? How often are you supposed to When's go? When's the last time you went? <clears throat> I've gone recently. I've gone recently because uh, I wanted to get a whole checkup done. But like, let's just say in the last ten years, I've probably gone like maybe Buddy. three times. You're gonna have to start getting a bit more frequently. I go to an iridologist. A what? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> an eye already ologist? I already-ologist. I already... Yeah. <laughs> That's it, funny, you know? it, It's a... Uh, it's that like sounds a, like something they just created. Because, you know, they put, once the know. iPhone came out, they started putting eye on everything. Ah, uh, you're funny. <laughs> That's funny. Nah, he's eye pro, eye realty. Like, yeah, you, yeah. I've seen them all. No, no, no. It's uh, basically... It's supplements. It's all natural stuff. Mm -hmm. But but you... You is go that in. a naturopath? There's a difference between that. There, there's a bit of a difference because he's okay. taking a picture of your eyes. He's taking a picture of your okay. eyes, and he's basically giving a diagnosis of what's wrong with your body, what's missing, what you're lacking, what you need to do a little bit more of. And uh, not so you hearing this rich nigga shit, yo. Yo, it's it's <laughs> it, it, it's on. <laughs> is this on the whole uh, hood rich or bougie shit? Like, yeah, it yeah. is. I know. Yo, he, it's better that I think people that go to doctors are rich. You're paying more going to a doctor and yeah. eventually taking whatever you need to take to fix this thing and then screw up that other thing and yeah. then go get that thing yeah. fixed and yeah. whatever, whatever, whatever. But <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's I'll just mess with you. I'm messing with you. No, no, no. But yeah. I, I get it. I get it. it, it it's not cheap. <laughs> 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 but he does the trick, though. He knows things that are happening before they're happening. And it's, yo, you can't be like dead on every time. Like his sister used to do it before. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like I should give him a shout out to Dr. Muhammad. Thank you. I mean, send his card before you leave today. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I've, I, people should be going to this person, man. Um, if he's accepting new clients, but yeah, I'll definitely leave that uh, information. I mean, question for you, because yeah. we're getting up there in age now. Yeah. And you got to start doing that. Uh... They've expanded that. <laughs> They're saying you got to be like 50 before you get a So, no, nah, no, nah, we're good. We're good. He does that stuff too, though? No. I just want to I just <laughs> know how comfortable I need to get with him. Right? Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, he's if... doing that. But um, I don't think that's his realm. I don't know. I don't even know how that really works, bro. Neither I do just, I. I just know the last time that I went that I did have that conversation. I don't know. He, Oh, you've okay. already inquired about that? Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, watching yeah. like a Russell Peters special and he was talking about it. Okay. Yeah, Russell Peters is hilarious. Shout out Russell Peters. There's two things that I got from a special that I didn't even know about that right. he just put out. And this is completely right. We're just going off. We're up right now. On, uh, I, I think it was called, I don't even know Russell what the special Peters was like called. The great, the great Brown Hope. He's a Great Brown <laughs> He's Hope? like the Great Brown Hope. I thought that was Sunny Dill still. <laughs> 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 the guy, yeah, but um, yeah. that's where all the Punjabis. Um, He's making. He's doing an episode in Bombay, so that's or Mumbai. That's where he's doing his whole thing. Okay. He used to box too, oh, so yeah. he's talking about how he, his doctor lifted up his nose, and he's like, "Oh my god, I could breathe so much better." But apparently, he had like a broken nose, and he had to get some stuff done to his nose. Mm -hmm. Hilarious, because I had to go get that whole thing checked out too. Apparently, mm -hmm. had the same issue. But then he's talking about why um, you can only breathe out of one nostril. My is it? my no, one nostril is better than the other. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so. But mine's probably because of boxing, too, because I think my whole thing's been shifted up. So I, I don't even know what those specialists are called, but I went to one of those guys, too, to go take a look Funny at Funny thing is, there. I have a friend that got his taken care of yeah. um, years ago. Yeah. And he was we used to work together, and yeah. he was away for a couple of days. Yeah. He came back after, like, whatever, it was three days, and this guy's like, yo, my entire life just changed. I swear to God, it's that good, eh? Yo, he's like... I couldn't believe that this is, is it existed. The only thing holding me back... And he's like, yo, I was supposed to be breathing like this the entire time? I already know this. I already know that I could be breathing a lot better. Um, I love how we're just going off. But, but this was like 12 years ago. This is, yeah, this, this is a long time ago. Like 15 years ago, maybe. My conversation with this person was like less than two years ago. Mm -hmm. I went there, but then he's like, you can't be doing that stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't be in any more combat sports. I'm not going to go do this procedure. And then you go and mess it up again. Like that makes no sense. Mm -hmm. At the time, I was still doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu and like, you know, people shoulder you and stuff like that. And I was considering doing boxing again. So I'm on the fence of it but when you say stuff like that and i hear stuff like that and it's life-changing and i could believe that because i feel like i don't i don't think my body gets the amount of oxygen i'm supposed to have straight up i just learned about breathing down to my diaphragm like not even that long ago i did mm -hmm. pure chest breathing mm -hmm. that was one of the things that he said on the special and then the next one that he said was what is that the the colonoscopy that's what we're talking about right mm -hmm. and then he talks about that and then he brought up that you got to be older and all that stuff i'm like yo that's i, I should go check that out and that's when i went and brought mm -hmm. it up to the doctor he's like no you're good you got another 10 years or whatever it is before you have to do anything. <laughs> and hopefully by then they make it another 10 or something. Like, 
It's probably like as long as you stay away from those hot dogs, you'll be good. I was, yeah, I was just about to say that. I'm <laughs> like, I wonder how often that hot dog guy has to go do that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. He's probably volunteering for that. Exactly. We're spreading rumors out here. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it's hey, real, man, though. we're just speaking from our perspective. <laughs>